Well, hello and welcome once again. J76NY here. And we are back with the crew of U-48 as we make our way back to our patrol sector. That was a pretty successful strike on the uh, battle group in the last episode. We sunk that carrier, the illustrious class carrier, and I think everyone on the crew is pretty happy at that. Um, we do have to return to our patrol sector so we can uh, complete the assigned mission. So we're on our way to do that. And we'll see how today's episode plays out. Uh, things seem to be heating up. The convoys are getting bigger. The escorts are getting a little more persistent. So hopefully uh, U-48 and Captain Krautman are up to the task. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Alright, we have a new mission. Empire... Or is the Empire Raven? It's carrying valuable cargo. Sinking it will help disrupt both enemy trade and the exchange of industrial goods. We estimate that it's currently passing through a square AN-423 with a course of 008. AN-423. Let's take a look here, right here. 008 means they're heading away. This is the convoy. We were actually stalking this convoy. Cool they kept sense. evading me, though, so uh, we'll go and uh, see if we can find the uh, Empire, whatever it was. I guess we can look it up. Da -da -da -da. Empire Raven. And it was the Victorious that we uh, sunk. It was an illustrious class, HMS Victorious. So Empire Raven. Good to know. So we'll go after the Empire Raven here. Here we have our sighted convoy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, I'm not really sure if we can see any of them just yet. It looks like an escort there. It's still too far out to see that one. It's the Empire Raven we're going after, so any of these merchants would possibly be the Empire Raven. Uh, we're gonna try and avoid, like, this guy here. He could be the Empire Raven. But we're running on the surface right now, as you can see. Um, we're moving into a position to uh, hopefully get around him. And then uh, strike from the front. Now, I don't really want to... Uh, too close just yet, but I want to match them. Unfortunately, they went outside our patrol area, but that's okay. Um, we're going to get everybody in fr the uh, boat ready for action. We're going to move into position and uh, make our strike. Hopefully, strike the right one. Okay, welcome back. We have this convoy here. We've got quite a number of uh, merchant ships here. Um, but I think I don't think they're going to uh, really B 
be good targets these ones are going to be passed before I figure out um, their solutions and all that for the torpedo attack. So I'm going to go after, I'm going to launch one each at, or two each at each of these guys. I'm going to launch at this one first. Uh, it is the further one. Um, hopefully we can get a strike on that one first. And then I'm going to switch to this one here and launch. Uh, hopefully they um, get there at about the same time. Uh, I'm going to drop my depth down to down to 50 meters uh, just because we've got this uh, escort right here. I haven't found anything out about like speed and distance and all that just yet just because this escort's really close. So um, we're going to try and get around them. We're going to try and uh, hopefully get into a better position to attack uh, without this escort there and then the plan is to kind of come through the convoy like this and out the end. Uh, I don't know if that's going to play out because there's a lot of other ships here and uh, who knows what's uh, an escort and what's not. Like, he's not an escort, but um, you never know. I guess we'll just uh, have to wait and see. Oh, all that planning went right out the window and they found us. So here we go. Alright, they're pinging us, so we should probably slow down a little bit. This is not good. Yeah, they got us. Got a little too ambitious there, I guess. A little too close to the escort and trying to uh, get these guys. Now we got depth charges coming at us. Alright, turn the other way. Hopefully we don't get hit too hard here. They're right above us. See where the depth charges are. All right, We're back the other way. Like they're dropping behind us. Hoping that the uh, sound of the depth charges is throwing them off. Let's uh, come to a stop here. Oh, there's a fish. Might not be a good idea at this point. Yeah, I think it would be a convoy. Alright, so maybe... Uh, Maybe that was a little too ambitious. We're gonna sit here and do nothing for the time being. Now we got another destroyer moving in on us. This guy doesn't appear to be moving. I'm gonna sit here and hope they think they uh, they think they sunk us. Direct 
do you want to do? Drew is strained and stressed. Don't say. We're getting depth charged. We're also moving pretty quick here, so Let's see if we can uh I seem to have lost them. There they are, right there. Head straight this way. That's where most of the convoy is, so we're gonna head right into the convoy and see if they, uh... See if the convoy can mask our, uh... Mask our... Friggin' maneuvers here! This is stressful! They only launched one uh, set of depth charges at us, which is a good thing. There's like, oh, so many escorts around here. All right, we're gonna head out this way. Hopefully they don't follow us too much here. Looks like they may be, uh, well, everyone except for this guy. He looks like he might be coming at us, so... Alright. Let's turn... and stop. I don't want to stop right under the depth charges, that's foolish. Keep going. But turn, nonetheless. We could actually even go down a little deeper. Go down to 125, and then stop. Ships propellers directly above us. This is deeper than I've ever gone, so... Hopefully it works out good for us. We got the depth under keel. Uh, right here we got... 170 meters, so we can hope that this is uh, good enough. Alright. I don't think they depth charged us that time. Looks like the rest of the escorts are moving off. Alright, hit the brakes. He's turning above us. She's circling like a shark. Look at that. See who we're dealing with here. This is definitely stressful. Definitely stressful. Alright, looks like we uh, managed to do it there. We managed to get away from them. Uh, the escorts. We're gonna book now. Uh, I'm gonna get out where I may have a better shot. Um, we'll attack them from this side this time. But uh, in terms of our crew, uh, we are 
only at 18% strain and stress, so uh, these guys are... Oh, we got a friend in the area. Well, that's nice. That's worked out better for us uh, when we have another uh, another U-boat to deal with. Maybe he'll uh, sink the uh, the Empire Raven. Wouldn't do us any good, but um, it'll take the pressure off us a little bit. Maybe we could, uh, if he takes out the Raven, we can take a shot at uh, some of the other merchants. So. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right, we still have sight of them, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, from the looks of it, all the escorts were kind of on the other side, at least after they got all uh, all done messing with me. So. We do this. Can't really see them, but we can see their position, and it's uh, 16 miles away. So I'm going to surface the boat, and we are going to run at full speed, get out in front of them, and make a second approach. All right, same type of approach here. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to target the furthest one away. Um, it looks like, let's see, Empire. No. Oh, Liberty ship. I can't really tell. It's... I'm going to go with this one here. We'll find their distance. I already kind of know what their distance is because I uh, set it up on the map about six miles out with the closer of the two being about a mile uh, in front of us. See what their uh, speed is here. Or what that noise was. Or if we've been spotted again, that would suck. 13... All right, so that's this guy here. He it looks like he would be running. I'm just going to... Uh, let's see. We're going to go with 80. Just to uh, give myself a little bit of room here. Seventy-nine. Flood the first two tubes. Uh, we're gonna have. Guess we can't run them uh, as fast as I want here. I can get this. Now it says seventy-three. Uh, we'll fire seventy-six. Go seventy. 
77.1. Get the distance again here. 6.2 is further away now than he was. And this is rough. I may not get two shots off. 76. Final calculation. Set. Fire. Close! Okay, unlock. And we'll lock on this guy. Oh, that's not the right one. Oops. All right, well, unlock. Where's the other one? It's closer. It's probably this guy right here. All right, lock on. That's not him either. Damn. Oh, here we go. Lock. We'll go with... Uh, we'll go with Empire Explorer. Set him at 13. With a distance of... 4.3. All right, course being I want to at least give my fish a chance to hit this guy here. There's the torpedoes on their way out to the uh, second ship. 105. I'm going to go with 105 here. I don't want the uh, first ship to get hit before the second one does and then throw everything off, so... Oh, three. Second two tubes. Oh, Try and show some patience here. Oh, three. Patience is oh, never really three. my thing, so this is could be a problem. Watch us end up missing both of them. Uh, these are looking fairly good, to be honest with you. So I'm thinking if we go... one oh one, that's close. Get the distance again. It says he's further away than what he was. Try again. Yeah, it's a little more, it seems like it's a little more accurate. All right, 101. And fire. Close! All right, two tubes away. Uh, go down deep. Turn out. All right. If anything, these two are going to miss. But these two look pretty good, so... Follow him. These might not even be the ships I'm looking for. You never know. I think it might be running a little bit ahead of him, which is going to really suck.
Actually, it's not looking bad. We are almost there. See how we do. Alright, so we hit him with one, alright, and here is the second batch of torpedoes, here is our other torpedo, um, we may actually get a hit on this guy, uh, we've got destroyer up here, one up here, uh, we're gonna start creeping and get out of here, uh, I wanna see, these two are looking pretty good, uh, this one on the other hand, looks like it just ran out of steam, so uh, we've got these two here, both of them are heading for this, uh, the second target here. Empire Raven sunk. We sunk him. That was the first ship. Where's the, uh, ship here? We're gonna miss completely? Yeah, these might go, uh, yeah, they're way in front of them. They probably slowed way down once their uh, buddy got sunk there. Yeah, they're past. That sucks. I was hoping to get two, uh, two kills out of this. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Well, we sunk our intended target, surprisingly enough on the uh, first strike here. I didn't know who to shoot at. There's so many of them, they're all the same, so... Oh, <laughs> and here comes the uh, herd of destroyers. They're on the opposite side of the convoy. Um, is there anyone coming at us from the north? There's this guy here. So we sunk our uh, intended target by chance. Um, I was kind of hoping there would be a slim chance that these torpedoes might hit something uh, behind them, but I think they're going to run out of steam, so... But we're... We're, uh, we're going to get the hell out of here. Well, these destroyers... Bob and weave through the convoy. Looks like they got a bead on us, though. Maybe. Alright, hit the brakes. Alright, here we go with this again. Maybe if we sit real quiet, they won't be able to find us. There's that other sub out here, too. That's a lot of, uh... Looks like a lot of destroyers coming my way. Alright, maybe if we move... and run along with the convoy? I'm just gonna sit here. I'm... I'm fairly sure they, they don't know where we are. They definitely don't look like they know where we are. Alright, we're going to get out of here. We still got the convoy up here. Now an unescorted convoy at that. Not even sure what we have for uh, torpedoes left. Let's 
uh, check here, see if we have any, uh, any torpedoes whatsoever. Nope. Yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. That's for sure. All right. So I'm gonna try and get out of here as these guys rest and relax and celebrate a job well done and hopefully, uh, get back into our patrol sector and move around. <laughs> try and avoid things, I guess. We got one stern shot, so we could take a stern shot. Maybe I'll try that if I run into an unescorted convoy. There's always a deck gun. You never know. I have been uh, using the deck gun quite a bit. That's too bad we are out of torpedoes here. 17 to 38. So I'm thinking uh, we should be clear to surface the boat and run back to our uh, patrol sector there. I wonder if that counts towards uh, our tonnage. I think it might. At least I hope so. Now well, something happened to Schuster here. I don't know what these guys are up to. With their injuries and all. Overworked. Oh, geez. Well, oh, that's not good. See if we can get a... I think he's our... Uh, <laughs> he's our doctor. Oh, no. Dr. Ernest Prine. Ernst Prine. Deliver some first aid there, Prine. Get him back on his feet. We need him on the hydrophone. Schuster, you did a good job. Over overworked or not, you did a damn good job. We lost an officer. One of our officers died. Um, the guy that was over here, he died from being overworked while Dr. Ernest Prine slept. So, through U-48 is definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely showing wear and tear and showing some uh, war weariness here if they're croaking on me. Jesus. All right, our patrol has been completed. I'm gonna send the report. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. And we are going to send our crew on vacation. They need it. They are overstressed, they are overworked, and they are dying. And we have no torpedoes for all these nice, uh, juicy convoys. So back to Willemshaven we go. All right, he saved the life of Carl Heinz Schuster, but not the other guy. Carl Heinz Schuster receives a new decoration, the U-boat front clasp in bronze. He has participated in 15 war patrols. So has he. Kurt Hoffman, 15 war patrols. Uh, determined torpedo course at Empire Falstaff. And sunk the Empire Fall staff. That was the one that we accidentally sunk. I'll take it though. Uh, determined torpedo course at Victorious Escort Carrier. Uh, Empire Raven. Empire Raven completed assignment. There's your front class for 15 war patrols. Uh, we are three out of three on the Norwegian campaign. Uh, Empire Fall staff was sunk. 4,543 tons, carrying utilities. Empire Raven was sunk, carrying valuables from London to Narvik. Empire Raven sunk. Yay, good job, Krautman. Okay. Uh, 8,796 tons of shipping were sunk, not counting this carrier here. Traveled 22 
140. We were at days or at sea for eight days. Did lose a crew member though, so we're gonna have to replace him. Uh, we get a ton of experience here. Um, we'll do that in the next mission or in the next episode. Uh, we'll restock the boat, give everybody their upgrades, um, replace our dead crew member, and then uh, pick our next mission. Anyway, I hope you like this one. It was a pretty fun mission. I uh, got lucky there with that um, Empire Raven. I mean, I could have been out there. I, well, I wouldn't have been out there because I wouldn't have had torpedoes, so it would have been a mission failure. But I had luck of the draw, I guess, you know. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you'd like to follow along with Krautman and the U-48, love to have you. Hit the subscribe, and we'll see you for our next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.